You're about to watch a live stream from our Facebook group. It's a club where we pretty much just talk about board games all day long. Usually I'll live stream at least once a day and everyone's invited. It's free, obviously. So if you're interested in coming to hang out with us, click the link in the description below. Hope to see you there. Hey, just want to do a quick little live stream since I hadn't done it yet today. Um, I just want to do a quick video on the kind of board games I keep at home versus the ones that I keep at work where I tend to play with different types of people. So let's just switch the camera around. Okay, so obviously uh, there's books and stuff, but there's a bookshelf. And there's two types of games that I have here. I have games that are social that I'm probably going to play with non-board gamers. And that includes games like Dixit. Um, uh, what else do we have here? Concept. And... Let's see, that's probably about it. Oh, and obviously code names. So these are games that I'll play with uh, people that are new to board games. Uh, I would put the resistance in here, but I guess I have that at work just in case we play it. Uh, the next kind of game that I have here are kids games. So we're talking Forbidden Island, which isn't necessarily a kids game, but I play it with my kid. Uh, Takenoko, Kids of Carcassonne. And I feel like there's one or two others they're probably in Finn's room and then the last kind of game I have here that I don't have at home are games that I think we will we'll just never get to play at work because it takes too long Game of Thrones Battlestar Galactica Agricola Last Night on Earth sort of even Betrayal uh, these kind of games definitely Access and Allies even though I haven't played that in years um, so these are the kind of games that take probably three hours or so, and it's very unlikely I'll be able to get it in during a lunch hour. Uh, Cash and Guns is another social game that I would lump in together with concept, code names, and what else? Whatever other social game I had here. Um, but that's about it. So let me just sound. So, oh, and then also I have up here some of the more... Uh, just regular traditional games, your Scrabble, Risk, Stratego. It looks like it might be backwards in the video. What's up, Vinny? Uh, Oregon Trail is a funny game. Uh, that's something I could probably actually leave at work. But uh, that's about it. So it's a definitely a different kind of game I would have at work. At work, I like to have games that you can bang out in about an hour. Uh, or a little more hardcore games for more people, like The Resistance, just in case we get uh, a good group. Um, but... That's, uh, that's about it. So if you're watching and you're interested, let me know if you have two different board game connections for different locations. What's up, Deej? Sorry, I'm about to finish up. But uh, Vinny or Deej, if you have anything you want to say, now's the time. Otherwise, I'll just sign off. And see you later. So Deej, if you're watching or Vinny, um, I'm saving this just in case. Otherwise, I'll edit this out on YouTube. Probably not on Facebook, because I don't know how to do that yet. But if you have any questions or anything you want to say, if you just want to say hi. Hi, this is my house. All right, since I'm not getting any, any play from uh, the chat, I'm just going to sign off and make sure the kids aren't killing themselves or each other. So take care.